okay hello uh, welcome to yet another video in this data making channel so like uh, this video is about closure like uh, it's closure means okay i won't say like it's kind of a tutorial or something like that but it's kind of recording my experience like uh, how it went like doing my own personal very very mini project in closure it's like kind of 100 lines of code or something like that right so that's the thing so what i was just trying to do is like i was just trying to spell number in closure right so i'll be uh, telling about the experience and how it was and all those stuff and what i felt so that's what the video is about so anybody interested in closure if you want to incorporate in your company or learn it possibly this video might be good for you okay so that's the thing so like what i've done is like okay i've got a repo for this like uh it is just nothing but uh okay uh spill number enclosure right i hope uh yeah all uh okay yeah so rather than putting a lot of branches what i did was like i just kept each and every iterations as what to say as a closure file so that like rather than just switching branches you can just uh even if you don't know git like you can download uh this as zip and all those stuff and uh, what to say go through it so i'm going to say like how i tackle this problem in closure and what i think about closure okay so that's the theme of this video so i just first started with a very very small uh, program so uh, how to hide this yeah so i just started with a very very small program to spell number right so so this is to spell number so this has case and so uh, if you have one, it'll say one, two, three, and up to nine. So I can just do something like spell number five or something like that. So let me just run it. So uh, CLG and spell number zero one. Okay, this is the first iteration. So it ran. Okay, but it won't spell anything like zero or something about ten or something like that, right? So that's the thing. So what I just did is like I just had a function called spell number that took an argument number and this number has been passed to case okay you can think this as switch case in other programming languages okay so and yeah this one returned any string so uh, look at the bit elegance of okay i could be biased like i'm just kind of hooked to closure for a few days and possibly even not doing work properly but uh yeah i could be biased but so take it with a grain of salt but yeah i just want to tell my experience okay so that's the thing right so yeah look how elegant it is so case this 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 and i don't know whether i'm just doing some linting properly is there any closure linter in atom like uh okay right uh install okay closure lint uh Atom uh, lint plugin. No, I am not sure. Okay, so, uh, or oh, do they use linter in closure? And uh, I really don't know, right? So, but yeah, uh, actually, you're supposed to use Emacs, but yeah, like uh, that's kind of a big learning curve for me. So, like, yeah, I am just looking at it. And then they also said about this Ripple de uh, driven development. I, I really don't know what it is. And I didn't experience that in this project. But yeah, this project was not bad, I would say. Right. Okay. So that's the thing. So uh, what happens is, okay, this number gets, uh, okay, if you just put like spell number, uh, spell number five or something like that, this number gets copied and it matches the case and it just comes over here. And this one outputs the string five and string five gets printed over here so that's the thing so not so uh, tough and all those stuff uh so yeah and uh, let me go to the second program the, in the second program like i just want to tackle two digits okay so so what i did was uh, uh, uh okay like i just took the spell number right so the spell number okay like uh, now what i did was like i just refracted this one thing so like if you look at this one like the spill number is there right i just took all this stuff and put into another function called spell units okay so that's the thing and uh, okay yeah and then i wrote another thing called spell tense okay so so that's the thing what i did okay so 
uh, so now the spell number becomes like uh, what to say string concatenation of spell tens and spell units okay so the spell units is very same to the spell uh, number uh, of the last time and then the spell tens is nothing but i don't know why i'm using this okay okay and i also included a library to what to, what to say to trim this out okay so to trim the output okay so that's the thing and okay and uh, the spell tens is nothing but okay one means it gives 10 uh, two means 20 and uh, uh three means 30 and all those stuff okay so yeah so uh this one i just did and is it spelling 10 okay i am not sure yeah right uh okay there could be a bug okay spell number number 10 okay so uh, but yeah if there's a bug yeah please ex excuse me i need to correct it and all those stuff uh let's put the second version right so 97 okay. and it's not spelling 10 oh sorry i didn't save it right <laughs> okay right so yeah okay yeah it does spell 10 okay so so this one spell tens and you just want to say concatenate empty space and spell units okay so in case of spell tens okay there'll be 10 over here and there'll be a white space so i don't want all those white spaces especially yeah, if you have the spell units okay like pi if you just have and if i don't put this trim over here what happens is you'll get something like space five that space is because of this one because there is no spell tens spell tens returns empty string so There'll be space and FIV. So I don't want that. So, so yeah, I just did it. So yeah, this seems to work for two digit. But if you see, yeah, we uh, we really didn't uh, go into the teens or uh, something like that, right? So, so like 13, 14 and all, we have no way, right? So, so what I did was, okay, uh, spell units is there, spell tense is there. Now, double okay uh okay so what i did was like okay i put this thing okay whatever you had in this zero two right i just took this took this one right and i just put it into another function called spell double digit the exact copy okay so i think i could make it uh, look more better by doing like this one right okay right and i think i can make it better like this one right so yeah now it looks a bit better and all those stuff right so yeah so now it looks better and uh inside this lead block okay yeah there is this units tense uh this lead block is nothing but like you uh, it uh makes you define uh what to say variables so units is nothing but the number mod 10 okay so and uh Tens is nothing but uh, what to say, uh, the number divided by 10 and you just take the quotient. That's what quote is. Okay, so that's the thing, right? And this uh, tens has been passed to spell tens and this units has been passed to spell units. So that's how it is. So as simple as that. Okay, so and somehow like even with uh, a person who's not really good at closure or something like that. Uh, a person who's lazy like me somehow it seems to work and that was surprising okay so uh yeah so that's the thing i already don't know what about uh, these warnings and all all those things if somebody knows yeah comment it or like yeah i'll just figure it out so that's the thing right so okay so what i did was like i just took all this stuff and i just put it into so if you look there's some pattern emerging like what is that look if i want to upgrade a function what I'm just doing, doing is taking that code in that function and put, uh, okay, I want to upgrade this spell number, okay. I want to include this teens and all those stuff, okay. So, what I'm just doing is I'm just taking the code over here and putting it as another function, okay. So, that's the basic thing I'm just doing and I, I'm just plugging in a new stuff, okay. So, 
So uh, this thing, okay, it's actually spell number, the last version of spell number that goes in here, spell double digit, okay. And then I'm just plugging in something new. So this pattern I just found on, uh, I just found it to be repeating over here, right. So uh, that's what I just found and yeah, that's quite good, okay. Like uh, uh, humans are quite good at repeating stuff and all, all you just do is like you just repeat it, so. So now what I did was I just uh, put a thing like spell round teens, okay. So, uh, and and there is no need to put 10 and all those stuff over here, but uh, it's still, uh, I think it worked. Okay, so, uh, okay, I need to check <laughs> what will happen if I put 10, right? Uh, okay, yeah. Um, um, yeah, so let me just put it. number and there could be a bug look i didn't test it extensively and all those stuff and i didn't go into test driven development right so i don't know what test driven development in closure is okay yet so in ruby okay i'm professional ruby programmer i'm professional python programmer so it somehow seems to work okay but i'm very sure like 10 shouldn't be in these two places at one time okay so uh yeah so yeah that let me refract okay so that's the thing okay so possibly around like spell number eight or something like that will <laughs> refract okay and that refractoring could be funny okay so that's the thing okay so what i just did was okay i just took the last spell number put it as spell double digit and i just did uh wrote another function called spell round teams and wrote this one okay and this one kind of uh returns from 10 to 19 okay and if it doesn't uh, okay uh, okay and uh, this thing i'm just taking it like okay like i'm just getting a number i'm passing this number to spell round teens if it uh, if it's returning something it uh, what to say it just returns this one like so if it returns 11 or something like that then it just gets returned okay so that's what this if block is about okay otherwise it goes to this spell double digit okay so if it can't spell round teens it goes to spell double digit okay so i don't know whether this naming is right because even some of the teens are all the teens are double digit okay so and the numbers that are round teens are also double digit so but yeah i think yeah uh, uh, it kind of works okay so it's more than like rather than uh of course uh naming things is very very important in programming but yeah like uh, uh what to say this th this i just this video is much more about like talking about closure okay so that's the thing so so just by plugging this round okay and extracting values and passing to it and all those stuff and plugging this round so i was just able to this thing like last uh, last iteration we just had this and now i just plugged it and that's it we have it so uh, uh let's not over complicate it okay so let me comment out some of these things okay uh so let me just comment out and uh okay 97 okay uh okay so now let me just run it i just want to run even others i don't know why so okay fine 97 19 and then 10 okay yeah it seems to work right okay let this 20 also be there so what's what's the big evil or something like that okay right. right okay fine so it seems to work so i just took it and added something to it and it gains more functionality okay so uh that kind of pattern i'm just kidding and uh what is the fourth one is doing okay so what's the new uh okay this double digit okay i need to refract uh, right okay right i don't like the looks of it and this one i just want to talk about look uh look without this bracket highlighting okay so uh look if i just put it over here this bracket highlighting is there right uh it i highlights over here this definite without this okay if you are doing it a normal text editor you just go mad and uh in one of uh, uh the closure groups in telegram also like one of the guys asked okay look can i do it like this and even i feel this is better i know where it's been delimited where the function ends and all those things this is really really confusing but the closure community seems to go with this idea but look if i look over here yeah it is like with the help of id i'm able to do but 
Uh, I feel like a good programming language should be like, okay, even if you, that is the construct of it should be like, even if you're just doing it in a text editor, you should be able to read it, okay? Not everybody can have, uh, what to say, uh, a text editor without all this fancy coloring stuff and uh, what to say, this highlighting stuff, you should be able to do it, okay? So that's what I just feel and I feel closure lacks in that, okay? So, uh, so yeah, uh, that's my opinion, okay? So... And this video is an opinion video, okay, so whether data making will go into closure or not or whatever it is, okay, so we really don't know, okay, so spell units is there, spell tens is there, we already did, okay, spell double digit is there, spell round teens is there, okay, so, so what are we accomplishing over here, like, uh, uh, right, what is the difference between third and fourth one, right? I think the third and fourth one is the same, right? Okay, so, uh, okay, that's that's the thing. So it is it is the same. Okay, so, uh, and uh, okay, uh, okay. So we include digits for future extensions, right? Okay, so uh, did the fourth one include digits? Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, so. Yeah, so in fourth one, we included this digits for future extension. So uh, in third, if you see like, okay, like uh, mm, you had this round teens, okay, and you did this mod and uh, quotient, okay. So what I did in this fourth one was, well, I don't know whether that's right, okay. So I did a library called digit, okay. So this one takes, okay, how it works, I'll just tell you, right. So you have this digit and you just pass number, okay? And if you just give like tens position, tens positions means, okay, the zero position of 10, okay? Like, let's say like, uh, if you have like, okay, like, uh, okay, let me just execute and show it to you, okay? Uh, this two, just, just two things, okay? So CLJ digit, CLJ, right, okay. Um, Okay, I'm going to save it. Okay. Okay, so what happens is, okay, I just give 57 and what to say, I just say that 0 place or the 10 past 0 and I get 7 and over here, like I say, uh, the first thing and that is the 10 power 1 and I get 5. So that's what this function does I'll comment it because I'm including it in other programs okay so and it that might uh, not uh, that might cause something odd uh, outputs to be printed okay so that's the thing so okay so you have this digit and that does it so how does that it? like it maps every number so there is a thing called character digit okay so actually what we are doing this is actually a function so a function is being written over here and this calls something called character character digit in java okay so uh okay character digit okay if you just put it uh, uh if you just put this in closure i think you will get some closure documentation so uh no 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 digit java Yes, right, okay, so, so Clojure is a hosted language, okay, so, uh, and it runs on top of, uh, what to say, uh, Java, and it also runs on top of uh, JavaScript, so Clojure is meant to compile, uh, okay, right now, it can co get compiled to a, a bytecode that can be run on JVM, or what to say, a JavaScript that you can execute on browser or node or whatever it is, like uh, Dino or whatever it is, okay, so, so what this does is, okay, uh okay uh, let me just tell you okay uh, i okay this one is really uh, uh uh big okay so let me just explain it my code itself okay so so you just uh, have this thing you just have this map so for uh every okay you just convert this number to string okay so 57 will be converted to string okay and uh for each and every string what this will do is like this will map like okay the digit radix 10 so like okay so 
it will take each and every digit okay so and it will the output of this will be like okay uh, okay it will be like a tuple uh, or not like a tuple actually in closure it's called this list it will be like pi and 7 okay and what i'm just doing is like i'm reversing it over here so that it will be like 7 and 5 7 and 5 so the 0 to 1 will take this one and the fifth one will take this one and this is of base 10 if you want if you put something like 2 over here okay so 2 over here then what this will be is what is a binary of 2 i think 101 one, right yeah you will get something like 101 one, right so and uh, 7 is 111 that's how you'll just get it but i don't want that okay i just want only binary stuff okay so that's the thing right and uh, let me just don't save right it's still something got saved yeah <laughs> i need to reverse it right okay fine okay fine so so that's how it works i hope you understood okay and of course like we are not in two-way conversation we are in a video uh so if you don't understand yeah please forgive me so that's the thing so so uh, i just thought okay like doing like this okay i can just go to thousands ten thousands and all those stuff but no and that didn't work out but uh but yeah so that's the thing so i just uh use this digit over here to get the unit sentence and to uh what to say uh uh, spell out these numbers so basically four is just like three uh, but the thing is like i just included this digit okay so and let me go to this fifth okay so fifth what i did was okay uh okay 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 now you are going into the hundred space so uh okay so let me just put it uh, clj spell number zero five okay so you are uh, able very easily able to go into this hundred space 295 yes 42 note that the and is not there okay and 100 okay so over here is also hand is not there okay so uh this tackling this and became a big problem and it's even still a big problem for me okay so that's the thing uh okay so let me tell you what i did okay so so now if you just look okay you have this uh spill below hundreds okay so uh okay 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 spill below hundred yes you have a thing called spill below hundred that is nothing but a variable over here spill below hundreds uh so this calls a function called spell hundreds okay so so whatever i wrote in the previous iteration i took it and put it inside this function called spell hundreds where is it okay okay yeah spell hundreds okay no no not spell hundreds so sorry 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 i just put it in a function called spell below hundreds so uh okay so this one this function okay so let me just find it out okay so this is where i just put okay so and if you just look this is what like is there and okay let me close all those stuff okay right so if you look at the spell number over here and if you look at this zero five over here let me just drag it and put it okay right uh so this if you just look okay whatever is in zero four just got transferred over here into this function and it gets plugged with some other stuff and you just get a new functionality okay that's the thing i'm just finding in closure that is like i'm just doing it again and again so the spell uh what to say below 100 is there so i just uh, uh take the num a number that's below 100 so i'm just modding it by 100 so if I get if I have 197 if I mod 197 by 100 I'll get 97 right that gets uh, stored in this video uh, variable spell below 100 okay so that is like that gets spelled and gets stored in this variable spell below 100 okay so that's what this lid does okay so you have this variable and the value uh, that can be stored in the variable is over here and this entire lid gets only one vector as argument and inside this vector you'll just give like variable value value variable value variable value okay so that's the thing and then okay uh spelled hundreds is nothing but okay like i'm having this hundred digit okay whatever it is okay so i'm using this digit digit over here to get the hundred digit 
and I'm just passing it over here. So for this over here, like spell hundred. So this I would have written another function. So it is like okay. Uh, adding a feature in closure is nothing like it's just nothing but you have something okay you you have something some interface you want to add a feature so you refract you take that code into in that interface put it into a function you write a new function to put the new feature and you somehow merge it so that's what is closure is about you're you're just making bricks okay and then you're just uh what to say uh creating a motor to merge the bricks that, that's the kind of pattern i'm just seeing okay so spell uh hundreds is nothing but okay uh, i'm just reusing spell units over here the number hundreds okay so so it'll become like 100 to 900 okay so that's how it just goes okay so uh and over here like uh over here there is one problem okay so i need to check whether like you need and or not okay so for it what i'm just doing is like okay uh when there should be an and look uh look 42 doesn't have and before it because there is no hundred spelling before it okay 100 does not hand have a and after it because like there is nothing after 100 okay so and let me test 104 okay so whether it works or not okay so 104 okay right uh this is what fifth okay right the fifth program right. yeah 104 yeah so 100 has nothing after it that is like after 100 nothing will be there so i'm i just need 100 and no and okay but for 104 there is 100 that is like the 100 has been spelled and something below 100 is also been spelled so i need an and before that so that logic i just code over here and or space okay so if uh, anything is uh, not empty, I need to put an and. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so if uh, if uh, what to say? If only one thing is there, yeah, I can just put a uh, what to say space. Otherwise, if both are not empty, I need to put an and. So that's what I've just coded it over here, and it seems to work. Okay, so that's the thing and yeah that's that's how it just happened and in this and like i just have uh i just face problems because thousand if you're just having thousand uh what will happen is okay uh over here okay i'm just spelling over here fifty six thousand and four. i just want okay so so i need to check whether the zero 100 places zero over here okay so uh uh, yeah and over here and uh, 5604 is there okay so let me just comment it over here just comment this out okay so that uh, okay and let me uh, have this thing these three things so sure right oh god i just want to comment it out come on uh okay after doing closure okay usually in atom it's like control and forward slash for comments but after coming to atom i'm just pressing control comma okay because atom uh after coming to closure yeah because like uh in closure you just put commas for comment okay so i'm just getting confused okay so i don't know how many developers are getting confused like that but okay it's, it's happening to me okay so let me tell you the different scenarios over here right six okay so let me tell you the different scenarios okay so yes okay so over here it needs to be spelled out like fifty six thousand seven hundred and twenty seven hundred and twenty four okay fifty six thousand seven hundred and twenty four okay so look there is already an and before this twenty four that is below hundreds there is an and okay so but over here there is no hundreds place okay but still i need to put an and over here right okay so fifty thousand and four fifty six thousand and four sorry fifty six thousand and four right and over here there is this hundred place and thousands place but so i need to put like five thousand six hundred and four okay so all these things need to be taken care so what i just did was like okay i just uh, took this stuff and i just put into a thing called spell till 999 okay so uh where is the spell till 999 okay yes if you see it is the almost the very same as spell number right uh okay i can even 
align it so that you can uh, even okay okay now you i think you can even see like okay like yeah it's almost like okay uh what to say this fill number is uh okay this fill number is just getting changed to spill till 999 and it's all it's almost there so it's 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 the same okay so i all i just did was to take spill number and just put it into a function like this and what i did was okay uh, uh you have i defined another okay there is thing called spill thousands so this will spill thousands okay so what this does is okay spill thousands okay uh this takes spill till 999 okay so it could be like uh 999,000. okay so it'll take this one number and it'll just put like that it'll just append it with thousand okay that's it okay so this fill thousand is simple but this and only like it just bothered me because i need to check for three conditions over here right okay like uh, i need to check for three conditions okay if i need to check whether uh below 100 exist okay right and i also need to check thousand exists okay thousand also exists okay and hundred does not exist only if hundred does not exist i need to put an and over here so look uh fifty six thousand and four right fifty six thousand and four but over here hundred exists so over here uh spill hundred itself will put an and over here five thousand six hundred and four okay so uh, so yeah so that and all i need to do but i also like the uh, way code could be written over here look below 100 exists and all i'm just doing is i'm just adding it and if all these conditions met i need to put an and otherwise i just need to put a space okay so and or space after thousand okay so i think even for million i need to do uh, uh what to say there will be more conditions and all those stuff but yeah i don't know i don't know elegant solution for that but the thing is uh thing what i wanted to say is like closure is making me to take this uh take the entire code over here put it into a function write a uh, new function for functionality and the spell number is just a place where everything glues together okay so that's the pattern i just saw okay so and okay let me just uh tell you another thing like uh okay right 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 uh okay and in in seven what i did is was i i just did like spell below million okay, so because thousand thousand is million right so okay so took all the code in this spell number in this thing and i just put it in spell below million okay so so every feature is every function addition okay so spell below million okay so this very very same thing okay spell number over here spell below million over here right okay so uh, exactly the same cop cut copy and paste what programmers are good at doing okay and i'm just checking it for just one condition okay if uh if zero okay return zero otherwise spell below, below million and you just return it okay so so that's the thing so but yeah apart from this and stuff okay like i am really really good okay otherwise i don't know close enough to deal with it and or something like that or okay like i haven't written a spell number uh, uh excise before or something like that I, i'm not sure I'm, I'm really not sure okay so that's the thing so i'll just comment the code okay get that on this <sighs> okay minor modifications okay right uh, right get what did it say okay 19 deletion okay i reduce some lines okay get push origin master right okay so you will be having it in uh gitlab okay so so uh, this is what i just found like okay look uh i don't know whether the progress is as fast as ruby or uh python but the thing is you take a step okay and you can just reuse it almost completely okay so and uh, just adding new feature is just like adding new function and something like that and uh uh, that's the thing and i just like some of the ways like uh what to say this uh this digit i just saw it in stack overflow and i just copied it but i just like the way it just worked okay so that's the thing and uh 
you might think what this percentage is over here the string number is there uh, this is a way of defining a function okay and uh, this means okay the argument okay the string number will get in common to this argument so if you want i'll just tr do it clg will launch this uh, closure interpreter right and uh, okay right so what i can just do is like okay right uh, this one right and let me just put like Yeah. Uh, minus one. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Oh God, I, I really don't know what's happening, but something right happens over here. And uh, I really don't know. I'm surprised what's happening. Okay, so why this isn't work working? Okay, so should I give something like this one? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I need to give it like this one. No, right. I really don't know. Okay, let me just check this character digit. Or oh, should it be like single quotes, a character? Oops. You get something like five. I really don't know what happens. If somebody knows, yeah, please explain. Okay, but now I'm just feeling really guilty of copying this function. I really don't know what happens over here. Uh, but the thing is like, okay, the string number gets passed over here, right? And uh, something happens inside, right? So, and I just get map of all these digits and I just reverse it and take the position. Okay. Otherwise, I would have written my own. But apart from this, okay, I'm just, okay, like uh, how it just works and uh, and uh, I'm just kind of, okay, how it works. Okay, so that's the thing. So, yeah, I need to check into this, like what's happening and all those stuff. Uh, okay, uh, let me, because I just don't want to give up. So uh okay let me just put something clj uh come on uh def number 42 right okay now if i just put this uh this is coming right Okay, I don't, I don't really understand what this map and all those things mean. Okay, so, uh, that's one thing, right? So that's the thing. Hmm. Okay, let me just remove the map. Just put this. So I think I didn't, I don't understand map and all those stuff. Okay. So yeah, uh, the thing is like I don't understand map and all those things. Okay, so or uh okay yeah i think i don't understand map so that's the thing so that i just need to see if i understood it i can f figure it out wh what it is so i think map takes each and every letter in the string and passes to this but still i don't know how it works okay fine so yeah uh anyway never mind i will figure it out but the thing is like yeah uh, this is what I just uh, knew about closure, and I I didn't I don't know what's the meaning of ripple driven development, okay? And the book I read was okay this thing like uh, getting closure, getting closure like uh, this is the book I just read and uh, mm, yes, pragmatic program. Okay, so this is the book I just read. And look, this book doesn't have any kind of pra uh, practical examples or something like that, but it just 
tells you okay look uh, i am a pro i am already a programmer so this is still okay this this uh, this things can be done something like this in closure and all those stuff okay so and as a programmer you all you will already know like okay like how to build stuff if you have the building block so that's what i just did and the spelling number is one of, seems to be one of my projects like yeah i'm teaching python to people uh and uh, in uh, my python classes one of the things is to spell a number from 0 to 99 right so yeah so that's what i just wanted to implement in closure and yeah i'll be implementing other mini projects in closure so yeah please keep watching data making uh, anyway like i hope you gain something out of this video and some doubts about closure got cleared and yeah anyway thanks for watching bye